Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the Pajunga Resort and Casino here in Temecula, California, for the featured bout of the evening, brought to you by Goose and Tudor Promotions in association with Antonio Leonard Productions and Showtime. This bout is sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission. The chairman is Tim Noonan. Introducing to you are three judges scoring this bout from ringside. Raul Caiz Jr., Jack Reese, and Fritz Werner. Introducing our third man in the ring, our referee in charge, Pat Russell. All right, fans, here we go with the Showbox main event of the evening. Ten rounds of boxing in a super middleweight special attraction. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from Temecula, California, it's showtime! Introducing to you first on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing silver and red trunks. He weighed in at 170 and one half pounds. His record stands at 22 wins, three losses and one draw, with nine wins coming by way of knockout from Mandan, North Dakota. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Shelby Showtime Pudwill. And his opponent across the ring, ready to go on my left. Tonight, fighting out of the red corner, wearing blue trunks with silver trim. He weighed in at 171 and one quarter pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign in the ring with a record of 19 wins, no losses, 12 wins coming by way of knockout from Oakland, California. Here is the 2004 U.S. Olympic gold medalist the WBC and WBO number one world ranked super middleweight. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the undefeated Andre SOG Ward. Once again, a referee in charge, Pat Russell, now to give instructions. Come on out, Shelby. Come on out. All right, gents, there's the line right there, right at the very top of this. There's the line right there, 10 rounds. Touch them up, good luck, come out at the bell. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape, Steve. Well, Ward is a naturally bigger guy, Al, and the contract for this fight was 172. Pudwell's fought most of his career in middleweight. Also, Ward, you see a three-inch reach advantage, and that's against an opponent who likes to box from the outside. Re reminder, the rule's different in this fight. Uh, there's no three knockdown rule, uh, no standing eight count, can't be saved by the bell, and, of course, the referee or doctor can stop the fight. And uh, after four rounds, if there was a clash of heads before the fourth, there'd be a no contest. After that, they would go to the scorecards. We're ready to roll here at Pachanga. Andre Ward and Shelby Pudwill in a tiny ring. This is an 18-foot ring. And uh, you have to believe that the Ward people probably like that because Pudwill's a bit more of a boxer, and they think their man has the power. <laughs> Be interested to see the approach Ward takes early in this fight. Does he come out and try to blow his man away? Right now he's being pretty busy with his hands. And a reminder that uh, two fights ago, Pudwell was knocked out in the first round by middleweight John Duddy. So the early going in this fight, very critical for Pudwell. Big left hook by Andre Ward. Fighting as a righty here, and as Steve pointed out, he switches back and forth often. Yes. Well, he's definitely ambidextrous. He can fight both ways. And it looks like he's uh, strictly business tonight. So I like what I see so far. Out of Left hook a little bit low for Ward as he tries to go down to the body. There was a cut over the left eye of, of Ward in the Edison Miranda fight, but it is healed, he said. No still effects from it. Good jab by Ward, and Pudwell gets in the left hook. And now you mentioned that cut. That happened 30 seconds into the first round, which speaks volumes about regardless of who the opponent is, every fight has its danger. And uh, he said that while some people question his toughness, Andre Ward, he knew that he was tough. That only confirmed it. A right hand gets in by Ward. And Pudwill, a pro since 1995, 
uh, has not fought great opposition, and when he has stepped up against Duddy, Rudy Lovato, he has not been able to get the job done. In terms of experience, Pudwell, not that many more fights or rounds, yet he turned pro 11 years, or nine years, before uh, Ward did. Had a, lot of in, had a lot of inactivity due to uh, illness and some injuries, so uh, it's nice to see him back. Right hand again downstairs by Ward. Ward's been committed to body work here in this round. A minute left to go here in round number one. Andre Ward in the blue trunks. Landed low and said, my bad, sorry. Two warnings already from Pat Russell yes. for Ward for punching low. The hook again by Ward. So he stayed righty this whole round right, well, and well, has well, committed well, himself to the left hook. And Pudwill's been hit with that punch a couple of times, but no dramatic effect. Pudwill throwing back with the hook in the right hand. Pudwill trying to use all of this ring. There isn't much of it to use. No, it's not. Uh, I like what I see in Pudwell, though. He's taking the punches rarely fairly well you know you haven't seen his legs buckle anything he's, he's gotten hit with some uh, some good clean shots he's taken them pretty well seconds left to go in round number one it's been a very good round for Ward uppercut by Ward and a vicious body shot he is throwing some hellacious shots downstairs as round one comes to an end for Shelby Pudwell he got through it at least Virgil Hunter, the man in the corner with Andre Ward. That's a good job. Hold up, man. That's a good job. Work quick behind a double jab. When you get it, turn the shots okay. under, okay? He's protecting his head. But you do have the uppercuts up the middle if you don't tilt on him, okay? You got the uppercuts up the middle, okay? In close, the short, compact one. You hear me? Okay? Keep that jab in his chest area right there, okay? Keep it up in here. Action from round one. Ward did what he wanted the entire fight. There you see him firing a left cross. That's probably his power punch. He is a natural lefty. And Al mentioned uh, Pudwell using the ring. It'd be nice to see him use his hands a little bit yeah. as well. <laughs> he did throw some punches back. And that was uh, Ward actually switching to lefty. So very briefly, he was a lefty in that uh, first round, but not too often. So Shelby Pudwell, a reminder that uh, round two is upcoming. And Pudwell hoping to land a little bit more, as Steve pointed out, not as effective offensively as he would like to be in round one. 25-year-old Andre Ward, former Olympic champion, 34-year-old Shelby Pudwell, the veteran from North Dakota, battling it out here in this tiny ring at the Pachanga Resort Hotel and Casino. I have the punch to look for right now. Andre Ward's getting close whenever he wants to. The left hook to the body could really be the punch that will begin uh, the downfall for Pudwell. And a moment ago, a right hand by Ward as he stepped in. Overhand right by Pudwell, a nice punch, a counter over a jab by Ward. Pudwell is definitely in this fight. I mean, he's fighting, uh, doing as best as he could. He's landed some good shots, and he's taking his punch as well. That's what I was looking forward to seeing, how well he took under, under Ward. Punches. Flash of heads, which uh, Pudwell kind of points out to Pat Russell. Are you... Guys surprised that Andre Ward has been so committed to the body work. This is much body work early in a fight that I've seen from a fighter in a long time. I think it's an excellent idea. Yeah. He's fighting a guy who likes to move. But you know what? He's connecting upstairs, he's connecting yeah. downstairs. He, he's really landing anything he wants to land. Oh, he's definitely unloading his whole arsenal. And uh, you can tell that he, he, he's trying to do everything that he's trained on. He's worked on in the gym. These two fighters both had extensive amateur careers. Of course, Ward uh, getting to the Olympics and winning. Pudwell well, with over 130 amateur fights as well. Made it to the national finals a couple of times. Again, the hook, double hook from Andre Ward. So he's getting punches in, as Steve pointed out, both downstairs and upstairs. We mentioned Pudwell fighting at the highest weight he's ever fought at against probably the best fighter. And yet, while he's losing these rounds, he's hanging in there. He is. Uh, you know, against Duddy, I mean, this is an improvement. Against Duddy, he was down three times in the first round. Here he's fighting a much bigger guy, and uh, he's still here. And throwing punches, he did land a counter right early this round. He just hasn't been accurate with his punch. Good four-punch combination by Andre Ward. And for the first moment, I think, in this fight, Pudwell blinked and thought, ooh, that was a lot. 
I'm wondering if this fight lasts some rounds, will Andre start to get frustrated because he can't get him out? I mean, this is supposed to be a showcase fight. This fight is not supposed to go uh, five, six, seven rounds. And he's fighting this like he wants to get him out. He's, yes. Correct? I yes. mean, he's going for it. Definitely. I think the, the ideal amount of work for Andre would be three to four rounds. Anything past that against a fighter who's not landing punches against him would be counterproductive. Other than that lead right that Cudler landed early in this round, not too much getting in for him. But he has gotten through two rounds against Ward. Another big right hand by Ward at the end of the round and a left hook by Pugwell. Time, no punching. Just put it there, push it. Doesn't hurt me. Okay, Shelby. Right, Shelby. Right, listen, okay? Yeah. You're yeah, cutting him too much, okay? You yeah. got I don't. <laughs> okay, listen, you're making him throw more punches. Than yeah, action from round two. Pugwell really has only had one moment in this fight, and that's it. Landing a right and a left, giving Ward pause for a moment, and then Ward in combination. The body punching is definitely going to help him there. When he does punch upstairs, the elbows will come down. And a big right hand toward the end of the round. Ward, for the most part, though, staying right-handed. Let's Rich Calvera, the trainer, and Tucker Pudwill, his brother, who had a long pro career, also in the corner there Max. with Shelby Pudwill, the 34-year-old from North Dakota, born in South Dakota, who now comes out here for round number three against Andre Ward in the blue trunks. Future Super Six World Classic, the World Boxing Classic participant who is trying to get into that tournament with a lot of momentum with a victory here tonight. This fight has been fought at a very nice pace. Very nice, and that pace is being set by Ward. And, you know, he showed a different side of himself against Miranda when, when he fought aggressively and bullied Miranda. That's the Ward we're seeing right now. Again, the hook gets in. And, of course, we saw Michael Kessler earlier this evening. We saw a left-hander against him. That left hook may have stunned Pudwell. So fans have a chance to view both these fighters that they'll see on November 21st and make some notes. Pudwell landing a couple of shots, but mostly to the gloves of Ward in that sequence. Ward has fought five times in the last two years, which equals the no total number of fights of the other three fighters on the hard time. There goes Pudwell. Knocked three, down from a hook and maybe four, a body shot. It was hard to tell. Five, six, seven, oh, he's cut. eight. Come here. He's cut over the left eye. Mike, there is, uh, I time, believe it might here. be right under the eye. Yes. On the cheekbone of the left eye, Pause there is by a, a punch, Doc. Point. Take a look. Let him go. All right. I think I heard Pat Russell say punch by a clash of heads. No, no, he said a punch. A punch. Oh, punch. Yeah, okay. A punch. But to Pudwell's credit, he may not last very much longer in this fight, but he did want to continue. I thought he said punch. I guess it was punch. <laughs> so, Ward going after him and thinking this will be the moment when he will get Shelby Pudwell out of there. Pudwell punching back. Oh, Can he hurt. get through? He's hurt. His legs just buckled. Over a minute left to go here in round number three for Pudwell to try and get through. And now is not the time for Ward to forget the body. And there it is. Well, you were right, Steve. That left hook to the body made a difference. And if Shelby Pudwell does get through this round somehow, unlikely he'll continue. The end may be near. The referee should be. The referee's taking a real close look at him. It's over. Pat Russell, who is an outstanding referee, found the right moment and stopped this fight. And so Andre Ward gets a TKO victory over Shelby Pudwell and shows some very good skills as we thought in doing it. It was a showcase. Uh, you know, that's the word. Um, Pudwell never threatened to win the fight. He was tough, though, and that helped because a fighter who wasn't as tough could have fallen in the first round, and that wouldn't have served Ward that well. Yeah, he definitely put up some resistance, and he did the best he could. But Andre Ward definitely put on a showcase tonight, and uh, like you said, he's kept his momentum into the Super Six. He remains undefeated, Andre Ward. 
this 25 year old get notches his 20th victory as a professional and as we said gets a win that builds some momentum and his promoter Danny Goosen happy about what his young charge did here this evening and Steve you made a good point about the toughness of Pudwell um, and obviously a big part of of him being here as an opponent is that he wasn't a monstrous puncher up was up high at a weight that he hadn't normally been at but the fact that he engaged um, Ward like Perdomo did Kessler did help the project Oh, no doubt. I think, uh, you know, it looks like Andre Ward emerged unscathed. That's the exact same word I used for the uh, in the case of Kessler. And uh, really, that's the big point here. I and mean, the wins were, were givens. And, and we're going to take a look here. Action from round three. Ward started it with a big left hook. He used that weapon again and again. His hand speed was really too much. And Andre Ward's always been diverse in his attack. We saw that tonight, too. Now, here's the knockdown. That left hand is really what did it. Follow-up was just dressing, but it was a left hook. And he and did, excuse me, he did that from the southpaw yeah. stance. His switches, when, you know, normally they tell you don't switch in the middle of the ring, you can get caught. But if you watch him here, when he takes that step to the right, he switches on a dime. And he's in a southpaw stance, and he hit him with a nice left, a nice clean left hook that, that opened that cut up over his eye. And what you'll see here is Ward starting to look to the referee, Pat Russell. And he's just pot-shotting him now. Not only is Pud, well, you see Ward waving to the referee. And Pat Russell basically stopped this fight uh, when Andre Ward asked him to. <laughs> yeah, there was, and clearly at this juncture, uh, Shelby Pudwell was not defending himself very well. And he didn't want to quit, so he wasn't going to. But uh, Pat Russell realizing that this young man was not going to present too much more of a problem for Andre Ward. So, we're ready to get the official announcement. Let's do that right now from Jimmy Lennon, Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of two minutes, 16 seconds in round number three. Our referee in charge, Pat Russell, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of knockout and still undefeated, Andre S.O.G. Ward. So Andre Ward gets his 20th win as a professional, does it in style with his TKO win over Shelby Pudwill and uh, used a variety.